Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is fractional knapsack and it is a medium level problem. So the problem basically says that we have been given weights and values of n items and we have to put it into a capacity of W, right? So our total knapsack capacity is W. We want to select these items such that the total value is maximized, right? Now, uh, in the normal knapsack in which either we can take or not take a particular item, which is what is represented by 0, 1, in this particular thing, we are uh, allowed to break the item, right? So this is also a very standard problem and one of the few problems that you would study when you are starting out with greedy algorithms, right? So the only difference between the normal knapsack and this particular problem is in the normal knapsack, which is also called 0, 1 knapsack and it is also called 0, 1 because uh, you can either not take or take a particular element. This is what is represented by 0, 1. Here, you can try to break the item. The problem is very, very simple, not at all difficult to understand. So let me take these values first. If I can just copy and uh, so you can clearly see each item has some weight and value associated with it. So this is the value and this is the weight. Now I would want to figure out what is the value per unit of weight, right? This is the main value that I am interested in. What is the value of each item per unit of weight? And how can I find it? I can easily find it by taking the value and divided by 2, right? So in this particular case, I will get 6. So that means this particular value has 6 units for each value of weight, right? So that means basically for each amount of weight or each unit weight I take in this particular item, I will gain 6 amount of value, right? Similarly, I do it for the second thing that is 100 divided by 20 and that is uh, coming out to be 5, right? Similarly, I can do it for 120 divided by 30 and this will coming, this will come out to be 4. So that means I have 3 different values with different values per unit of weight associated with them, right? Now, Obviously, I would want to take the value or the item which gives me the maximum value with the minimum amount of weight. So basically for which this particular final result is maximum. So in this particular case, it is maximum for this one. That is why I would like to take this one first. Now uh, our total weight is 50 here. So let me just write 50, right? So if you want to take this particular item, the maximum weight you can take for this particular item is 10 itself, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to multiply 6 by 10 and that is going to be 60. This is the value that you will gain and since you have taken 10 weight, this 50 now will become 40. Now you move on to the second highest item which is 5 here. For this particular item, you can take a maximum weight of 20. So you are going to take that. That means you are going to, going to get 100 value but you are also going to lose 20 of your weight. So you are only going to lift with 20. Now you finally have this particular value 4 and you have 20 weight left. Although the maximum weight you can take is 30, you have only 20 weight left. So you're going to take that and that is going to be 4 into 20, that is 80, right? So that is 100 plus 60 plus 80 and this is going to be our final answer. So this is basically, I believe 240, is it, yeah. So 240 is the correct answer, right? So this is how you can basically solve this problem. First of all, find out the value per unit of weight and then sort it according to the value per unit of weight in decreasing order. That means the maximum value that we are getting per unit of weight should be taken first. Now, we can either take this particular maximum weight or what is available with us, right? In the first two items in this particular case, we took the maximum weight itself. But in the third item, the maximum weight that we could have taken is 30. But the weight that we were had uh, available was 20 only. So we took with 20, right? This is how you can go through all the values and figure out your best maximum value, right? One more thing that uh, while doing this particular division, while finding out the weight per unit uh, of value per unit of weight, you need to perform this calculation in double because it might go in decimals. In this particular case, it did not, but it might very well go into decimals. So that is why you'll have to be careful while dealing with these values. Make sure that you take this particular value in double, right? Only then it should work. Float or double, any should, anything should work. But uh, just for more precision, I always take double, right? So here you can see that I've created a vector of pairs. The first part is the double and the second part is the integer, right? So what are these values denoting? The first part will denote actually the value per unit of weight and the second part integer is going to denote the maximum weight that I can pick up of this particular category. 
right? Now what I'm doing is I'm just going through all the values and I'm calculating the value of value per unit of weight, right? And I'm storing it in double. So how I'm calculating it? I'm taking the value and dividing it by weight. So you see I'm uh, typecasting everything into double to avoid any conversion issues, right? Now I just place in place back this particular value, value per unit of weight and array of five dot weight. That means this is the value that I'm interested in and this is the maximum value or the maximum weight that I can pick in this particular category, right? So I push these two things together in the items vector. Now I just sort the items vector and passing a custom comparator to it. What is the comparator? That A dot first, that means the element that comes first should have the first value that is value per unit of weight greater than the second element, right? So basically all the elements, all the values will be arranged in decreasing order of this value per weight, right? This is what I want. Now I have initialized my answer with zero. Now I go through all the values and I set the take weight. So take weight is going to be the minimum of W, which is the weight left with me and items dot I dot second. And whatever I take, I just subtract it from the W and I multiply take weight with items of I dot first, right? So items of I dot first was the value per unit of weight and take weight is the weight that I have taken for the current item, right? So that is why I multiply both of them and add it to my answer. And then finally I can just return my answer. So this was a very, very simple question. Uh, I would say if it is called medium, it should be on the lower end, on the medium difficulty of ranges, medium difficulty range of problems. So anyways, I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So before signing off, let me just quickly submit this problem and show you that this particular code works. So you see this process all of these cases and the solution is absolutely correct. So till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.